She, she's taken over the U.S. and her uh, native Australia. She Our has. next guest has been designing activewear, inspiring women to take care of their health and fitness for almost 30 years. What started out as a hobby has turned into an active living movement. She's just come out with her sixth book, second cookbook. It's called Eat Good Food Seriously Delicious Food That Actually Is Good For You. Please welcome back founder and CCO of Lorna Jane, Lorna Jane Clarkson. Always nice to see you. Good to be here. Good to, to see you. Yeah. Do, 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 I don't know if that strikes you at some point when a hobby. Turns into a business, turns into an internationally successful business. I know, and I was a fitness instructor before that, and I just started making clothes for myself, and people loved right. them. But you know, I always knew the active way would be a success because I could see the reaction. But I have to admit, I'm I'm fairly surprised that I'm now doing cookbooks. I never <laughs> knew it would lead me there. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's what life does sometimes, exactly. right? It's um, really nice. Yeah. Surprise. And and I don't know if this is uh, indicative of, of of other things, but you're saying we'll get to the recipes in a second. Yeah. Your husband is stealing the things you're baking. Yeah, we had to yeah. make. We were making this last night, and we had to um, do two batches. Because he was like, could I just have another one? He's so polite. That's you a know? good sign. Yeah. I'm thinking he's eating good food. Come on, right. yeah, give him more. Give right. him more. Well, that's the whole idea behind your book, and yeah. really, your your lifestyle is about yeah. not depriving yourself of anything, being happy, healthy, and this book uh, has a lot to do with that. Right? Yeah, I think that um, being healthy, people think that you have to deprive yourself. You have to right. count calories, and the food's going to be boring, yeah. you know. Um, but I just think that if you want to get back on your health and fitness journey, one of the simplest and easiest mm -hmm. things to do is just start with your food. Because if you eat good food. You get more energy to work out. Sure. You're going to be more positive, energetic, and you're actually going to have a mind and a body that is capable of doing all of the things that you want to do with your life. So just start by eating well, and within 24 hours you'll feel the you'll difference. Feel yeah. People use this phrase constantly: detox. Uh, and this, a pink detox top. Oh, yes. So this is just strawberries, cinnamon, lemon juice. Do you want to try? It? I'd sure. love to try. Um, Thank you. The strawberries are full of antioxidants, okay. vitamin C. Cheers. Great way it to start you delicious. today. Yeah, it is lovely. And because the cinnamon um, regulates your blood sugar. So you're going to stop nice. craving. This is, yeah? really, this is great. Light, yeah. refreshing. Yeah, this is and basically, really you take a, you know, the frozen strawberries in the bag, Adam. Yeah, yeah you can, you can. And it, it's like five minutes to make it. Yeah. I also serve this at cocktail parties. The, no, oh, it's Yeah, the, yeah. Uh, you can see, people might yeah, you add can a little too. Yeah, it's not in the morning, sure. though. Not right. in the morning. We like that idea. On to this muffin that your yeah. husband loves. Okay, so this is a great breakfast. When, you know, we're all busy. We want to work out in the morning. We've got to get the kids to school. So this is one you can make. The day before, the night before, you just keep them in the fridge. Mm -hmm. They're really great because they're sweetened with pears, mm -hmm. so full of fiber, and the sweetening is natural. So mm -hmm. um, lots of crunch as well. So. It's a pepito almond pear muffin. Yeah. Wow. Very really nice. delicious. Yeah. See, she's going to eat it all too, aren't I'm you, Jessica? Keep going. I'm but it doesn't feel snacky. Could yeah. this be enough for breakfast? It's really something? absolutely. Yeah. I mean, a male probably too. My husband ate three, right. Right. <laughs> but for me, I'd be really happy with that. Great for a snack as mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. Afternoon tea with. It feels hearty. Yeah. No, yeah. yeah. Exactly yeah. You're right. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so snacks. Snacks are where we usually go wrong. You know, right. 11 o'clock in the morning, mm -hmm. 3 o'clock in the afternoon, the vending machine is calling us. So this is really. Welcome great. to Gentle Vibe. <laughs> and so easy. So it's just bananas. Dark chocolate and peanut Wait. butter wrapped in greens. No. So uh, banana and chocolate is in the green? Yeah. Ooh. And the thing is, they taste, the, the taste is so strong of the chocolate and the peanut butter and I'm the banana. Scared. I'm scared too. That okay. you won't even believe they're going to be difficult to eat on TV. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm that you don't taste the greens. It just kind of all melts together? No. So the greens are really alkalizing. So, really, really. So it's a way of getting greens into people's diets. It's, you it's, wouldn't it's do very it. good. The peanut butter is very good. Yeah. And you're exactly right about the greens. And what's you don't the, taste them. The drizzle. That's a maple syrup drizzle. Oh. <laughs> so, you know, when you want to treat yourself a little bit. Okay. I don't usually go for the maple syrup, but we'll come on, you can do it, Jessica. We're right. Oh. There's a whole I know. Oh. <laughs> you know what? Good. Really. You do not taste, taste the, the green. You taste the banana yeah. and the chocolate. Fantastic. Interesting. I'm going to leave it all here for you. They're pushing us <laughs> so quickly to this because we really want to get to this. Okay, so this is lunch or dinner. It's mm -hmm. eight soccer pizza. So the base is made on chickpeas. Mm. So high in protein and gluten free. So really, really delicious. And you know what? I just let people put whatever they want on this. We'll have a, a people over and I'll just let them put a whole lot of different things on. But this one's just sure. tomato. The one in the cookbook is just tomato sauce, homemade, um, vegetables, a little bit of goat's cheese. Mm -hmm. I love The thing I love about goat's cheese is you don't have to put a lot on to get the flavor. Yeah. Really delicious. You can even wrap these up like tacos if you want it. Ooh. All right, and, and then, then we yeah. must dive in. Oh my nice. goodness! My favorite thing to do okay. is to take a dessert and make it so healthy. Yeah. But there's no guilt. Okay. You know. So this is key lime pie tartlets. How delicious are they? Mm. Well, really good. Mm. And people can't believe that they're actually good for you. You never know. Yeah. You wouldn't, Lorna. New cookbook. It is called Eat Good Food Seriously. Delicious food that's actually good for you. It's available online. WarnerJane.com.
Thank you so much. Thank you. Always great Thank to you. see you. More key lime pie. We'll take a quick break here. This is very good. This one is really. That shot. Thank you for trying.